Hey. Hi. How's it going? Well, I think it's going pretty darn well. What about you? I'm not, not having a bad day. I will say okay. that. That's good. So, you know why we're doing this, yes. but no one else does. So Same we are just thinking news. we're insane, which is yeah. normal. I know. But we have big news. Big news. Big, big news to share, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you want to start by explaining what we did? How long ago did we turn that thing in? Like a month ago? Yeah, it was a month ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, let's explain what we did, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So, a month ago, mm -hmm. actually much more than a month ago, Amanda and I um, have been working on a, a new project, and we're just going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. But while we were working that, on that, we got some advice from a friend, mm -hmm. and then we also got some advice from your brother, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And Amanda's brother is... Explain what your... Um, he is a college professor who focuses... Um, on uh, popular culture, specifically comic book culture. Right. And so he suggested that we look into talking at, or speaking at a conference, delivering a paper is what how mm -hmm. we refer to it. Yeah. Um, I was an American Studies major in college, and all, all of my professors, mm -hmm. and even some of the older students and graduate students Definitely. at my school, mm -hmm. would they were constantly mm -hmm. trying to get papers published or trying to speak at, at, at conferences. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest conferences, if not the largest one that I'm familiar with, right. is um, the Pop Culture um, Conference. Mm -hmm. It's done through the PCA. And that is national. Yeah, it, actually, I think it's international it might be. now mm -hmm. from the way they were talking on the website. Right. And so basically, they have regional conferences and then they have international ones. And then they have one, I think it's, I don't know what they call it. I think it's for North America. Right. And um, that one happens to be coming up, what, March? Yep, the last week of March. Okay. So, anyway, we started honing in on a topic, and we decided, okay, we're going to try to submit a proposal, mm -hmm. not knowing what the heck we were doing. And to me, it was like, okay, we'll wing this. Yep. There's no chance. Kind of a Hail Mary pass. Yep. Yeah, there was no way. And so we, we wrote what is really a very, very short synopsis of what we wanted to talk about mm -hmm. and sent it in. And literally, like, Amanda had trouble getting through on the website, so I had to send it in. And honestly, I was like, copy, paste, throw it up there, no big deal. Did not think twice about it, which was crazy because normally I'm panicking over this stuff, right? right? And sometimes so, you just got to go for it. Yeah, so we did. We just went for it. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand why your brother thought that we would, you know, do okay. He's Probably because he likes me. I don't know. That's the rumor. Well, he likes you. He doesn't know me. Otherwise I think he just like wants you. me to, I think it was just a way to ensure that he's going to get Christmas gifts forever. Cat, could you please move for filming? Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> That's funny. So, Anyways. <laughs> I don't know how many weeks was it like two or three yeah it was a while. yeah it was a while okay. oh that's right it was like a month ago when we submitted <laughs> right so I kind of forgot all about it yeah and then yesterday I was looking through my email yeah and I let my junk mail pile up for a few days this week because I have not been feeling well yeah. and I went in yesterday for some reason and I I was I literally had my finger on the delete button and ready to delete the entire thing, and, and something caught my eye, and I look closely, and I look again, I'm like, I have to be reading this incorrectly. Mm -hmm. To open the email, turns out, what happened, Amanda? Where we were uh, accepted. We were accepted to present at this uh, lovely little conference that's coming up yeah. in, you know, the end of March. So, these are like professors. These are people who have gone to school for their doctor's degree. Mm -hmm. They've studied. Published. They published many times over and Amanda and I are like struggling to get one thing out it's been really tough well I mean we're doing we've been writing several things but I mean it's hard to get yeah. published it's not easy um so anyway yeah we were we were accepted I still can't even believe it I'm I know. dumb yeah yeah so yeah so now we actually have to write the paper yeah. and we 
have to go and we present it in front of, I don't, apparently it's a lot of people. Right. You know, that's the way they described it. it. It's not just 10 or 15 people that show up. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a big, it's a big deal. Yeah, it's, it's a big, a I mean, it's deal. a big deal that the conference is what, like four days long or something. I mean, yeah. that tells you how many people they plan on having to present, you know, present, which is a lot. There's a lot of people that go and, uh, yeah. So that's, it's all very, very nerve wracking, but very exciting at the same time. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty excited. So now, let's explain what this, because I'm sure, you know, now they're like, well, what are you writing about? Well, one thing we're not writing about is we're not really writing about like the band, believe it or not. <laughs> Although they are, they are part they, of They're it. part of it. Um, so yeah, I mean, long story short, we have sort of, as all of you who've been paying attention for years know that we've studied fandom and specifically music fandom. And, and from there we've sort of, um, I think that our argument has gotten better each, each kind of iteration we've done. Um, we've, we've kind of honed in on, um, some, some different, some different ideas that we haven't necessarily seen, um, you know, otherwise. And so what we are really hoping to focus on is competition within fandom. I'm one topic that, as I'm sure, again, if you've been reading the blog for a long time, you've seen us talk about competition in one way, shape, or form a lot. Um, but what we're specifically focusing on is kind of the female, comp how, how it sort of um, manifests itself with women. How do women compete with other women and why? And um, our theory is that a lot of the competition really comes down to the fact that we as women have internalized a lot of sexism ourselves. And um, because of that, we're really looking for validation, validation from men. And in the case of, of our fandom, that, that the validation is from the band. It's from the guys in the band. And so that's why it's super important to try to get attention from the band. And so that's sort of what we're going to be presenting um, to make a long story short. Um, well, let's take an example, though. Let's, yeah. So, people, so I would use an example, and I'll, I'll even I'll turn it towards myself, so that way then mm -hmm. no one can say, well, you're calling Oh, yeah, so we're totally guilty out. of this I'm as much as anybody else. Yeah, out, of course. Okay? When I go to a show and I'm in the front row or the second row or whatever, and I see, well, I see Dom on stage, right? Ooh. I know. Anyway, I see one of those guys up on stage, yeah. and I look at them, and I smile, and they smile back, and I feel something inside. I'm like, oh, okay. I, you know, I feel good about myself. That, for whatever reason, them returning a smile yeah. or a wink or whatever a makes wave. me feel good about myself. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel legitimate mm -hmm. as a person and legitimate as a fan. Mm -hmm. and, and that I matter. Yeah, and that I matter. Mm -hmm. And so... As a result of that, I don't want anyone else having that same kind of connection. Or maybe it's not even that I don't want anyone else to have it. I don't want anyone else to step in on that time that I right, have. Right, to block which you. Like what you... I. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the whole point is, like, let's pretend we're outside at a GA show and they open the doors for us to run in. And people are running in and yeah. they will run each other over to get to the mm -hmm. front. You know, all of you know it, I know it, we all know we do it. Yeah. And so why do we do that? Because we want to be up at the front. Why do we want to be at the front? Because we know that we get attention from that band being at the front of the stage. Mm -hmm. Duh. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's not even so much that we are openly thinking about how we want to keep everyone else down. Right. It's just that we're so anxious to get that attention for ourselves that we don't yeah. necessarily really want to share it. Mm hmm and so that's kind of what this whole thing is about. Why I don't know why my screen did that. <laughs> okay, now you're gone altogether. Excellent. Oh, that's good. Well, I still see you, so yeah. okay. We'll see that everything is going just lovely in uh, terms of the recording. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I got it back. So, so anyway, I, mean, I think that's what it's about. Yeah, and I think what's interesting about what we um, what we're sort of focusing in on, and and what we have been focusing in on, at least with our own writing and our own work is really a combination of everything that we've learned about fan studies um, in combination with some research in women's studies, right? Because a lot of fan, if you read fan study type books, they'll talk about kind of social status within fandoms and how different fandoms develop that social status. You know, who is, you know, who's at the top when it comes to fans? You know, in some fandoms, it's getting the, you know, most memorabilia. In other fandoms, it's having the most knowledge. Well, I think in the case of, of our fandom, um, it's 
who has, you know, the, maybe the most attention or has a lot of attention um, from or connections with that band. And so why, why is that? Why does that matter so much to us in a predominantly female um, fandom? And that's sort of what kind of led us there. It's that combination of fan studies with women's studies. Right. Exactly. So we're really excited. Yeah. So we probably just academically geeked everybody out there, but that's, that's whatever. I I don't know. I think people are interested in what we do. And I mean, to us, this is really exciting because we've been trying to do something with this for a long time. Our research now, I mean, we've, we've gone past the 10 year mark on doing research in this Mm -hmm. area. And, um, it's just exciting to finally feel like something's coming together for us. Yeah. We've worked really yeah. hard. Yeah. Um, whether you like us, hate us, whatever, mm-hmm. this is, you well, know, we've to, been working hard at it. Yeah. So and to get this recognition, right, exactly. And to get this, you know, recognition from professionals in the field that we are, you know, good enough to present is, uh, it's pretty exciting. It is. So we're looking forward to it. So I am flying out to see Amanda um, at the very end of March. That the There's last also a warning to every Durani within the Midwest region that the two of us will be um, together yeah, at that together. time, so be afraid. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole plan is I'm flying to see you like the yep. weekend before the conference. The conference yeah. starts on Wednesday. It's literally the last week in March. Yep. And I, I'm thinking that I'll be there from um, that Sunday to the following Saturday. Literally the day before Easter is when I'm hoping to fly back to California, mm-hmm. but I'm super excited. Yeah. So, and I won't lie, if the band decides that they need to, you know, come visit us all in the yeah, United States. somewhere in, you know, time, I, Chicago, Indianapolis. Yep. You know, those are good places. Yep. At least that's what I hear. So. Yep. Yep. But I'm excited. Yeah, so. so. I'm to share it with everyone because I know, you know, over the years we've talked about other opportunities that have come up and we, for whatever reason, it didn't work oh, out God. for us, mm-hmm. but this is a sure thing. I can't even believe that we're going to get to do this. Um, and now we have to work hard to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's going to be great. But that's so. the fun part, too, because I think, like, we feel passionate about this topic, this issue. Really um, and so I think I'm excited to be able to really share it um, with others. And honestly, I'm, I'm hoping that other people can learn from us rather than – because I feel like we've been taking a lot from all these other people. And so this idea that maybe we'd be able to sort of even give back or provide something new in the field is – it's super cool. Yeah, because this is unlike anything that we've read before yeah. or we've researched. You know, there's not a lot of, I mean, there's some crossover between women's studies and phantom yeah. studies, of course, but not in this particular area. Right. So um, I'm hopeful that we learn a lot, too, even yeah, by adults. Yeah, definitely. I think it's going to be great. Yeah. So I'm excited. Yep. So. Yeah. So I feel like we're, we're headed. We're in the right direction now, so this is good. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So. Anyways, we just wanted to share our news with everybody, and uh, I guess we're we got to go back and start writing. Now, yeah, we got to so. go do some work now. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. So cool. see you later. Bye. Bye.